This is your season of power. Hi, my name is Reverend Valerie Pearson, and I have a special word of encouragement for all of the sisters out there that I want to share with you. This is indeed your season of power. I believe that the year of 2011 is going to be an awesome, tremendous year for you and for me. This is going to be a year of great discovery for each of you, especially as it relates to the power that God has placed within you. Your season of power is that God-ordained time, that God-ordained season when you come to realize all of the power that he has placed within you. It's the time when you acknowledge that God has placed within you so much. It's a season of awakening everything that he has placed in you. It's a season of acknowledging that you are a woman of influence. It's your season of acknowledging that God does have purpose for your life. Now, in order to actualize the season of power, there are some things that we all have to do. First of all, we have to stay connected to God. Our season of power doesn't happen without him because we are acknowledging what he has placed within us. So you must stay connected to God. You have to get closer than you've ever been before in your entire life. So close that you can hear him whisper in your ear. Now you may be saying, well, I got that peace. I have the relationship. I do have a personal personal relationship with God. I want to challenge you in 2011 to get even closer to him. In order to actualize your season of power, you've got to be connected to him. Secondly, in order to actualize this season of power, you have to take back the power. Many of you have allowed situations, circumstances, incidents, even people to have power over you and they should not have. The situation should not have power over you. You actually have power over the situation. So during 2011, I want you to take the power back. The only person who has power over your life is your God, is our Savior. So take back the power. Last, in order to actualize this season of power, you have to understand that after you acknowledge, after you get to know the authentic you, she has to be liberated. For so long, the authentic you has been hiding in the wings. She has been behind stage and now she wants to come forth. She wants to be on stage, so she has to be set free. After you find the authentic you, set her free. Now this is a process. It takes steadfastness and it takes courage, but I want to encourage you to set her free. God has so much in store for you in 2011. It's going to be an awesome year. As you know, our emblem is the butterfly, the butterfly with those beautiful wings with all of those colors. Well, over the holiday season, someone gave me a magnet and on the magnet, it read, how you gonna have wings and don't fly? So my sister, I ask you that very same questions. How are you going to have wings and not fly? The year of 2011 is your season to fly. It's your season to soar. You have God's power within you. I want to leave you with Ephesians 3 and 20, which reads, Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask think, or imagine. God has great things in store for you. God bless you.